Hello! In this supplement, we're going to be solving a linear equation involving factoring. So sometimes when we have these equations, we can't just add and subtract and multiply and divide. First, we need to factor something out, the variable that we're solving for, especially if there's more than one term in our equation. So let's look at a couple of examples and see how this works. So the first example is going to be in the money world. When you have an investment with simple interest, the amount that you get back is based on three things. It's based on the principal you invest plus the interest. And the interest is given by the principal times the rate as a decimal times the time in years that you have it in. So we're going to take this equation here and solve it for the principal P. Notice when we look at the equation closer, both these terms separated by the plus have a P in them. And that's the variable we want to solve for. Look, I've highlighted it in red here. So what we want to do is get that p by itself. The way that we do that is we're going to factor it out of both terms. So I'm going to factor it out here and here. When I factor it out of the first term, I just have 1 left. When I factor it out of this term, the only things left in black are r and t. So I have this factor set here. I have the p out in front, that's what I want to get by itself, and then I have times 1 plus rt, that's my second factor. So now to get the p by itself, I need to divide by this other factor, the 1 plus rt. And of course, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other to balance that equation out. I divide by 1 plus rt, these two cancel out, and I'm left with p over here, which is what I want. So the principal is equal to the amount you get back over 1 plus the rate times the time you invest it. That's the answer. Now let's take an another one, a look at another one. Now this one is going to involve surface area. So the surface area of a rectangular box is given by this equation. Well, we have to have a top and a bottom, and the top and bottom are given by the length times the width. There's two of those. That's this term. And we have to have a side and a side, and the sides are given by the width times the height, and there's two of those. That's the second term. And we have to have a front and a back, and the front and the back are given by the height times the length. Well, there's two of those, and that's this term. So let's say we want to solve this equation for the width. And we want to see how wide this is depending on the surface area, the height, and the length. What we do is we look at our equation and we try to isolate those w's. So I have two terms that include w's, and I'm underlining them here. We have to get those alone. I'm adding on this 2LH. Well, I want to do the reverse of the 2LH. I want to get that out of there. So I'm going to subtract the 2LH from both sides. Of course, if I do it to one side of the equation, I have to do it to the other side. And these two subtract out, I'm left with 2WL plus 2WH is equal to A minus 2LH. Now I need to factor out. I need to get that W out of there. So when I do, I'm left with 2L in black here and 2H in black here. Again, I have two factors. I have a W and I have a 2L plus 2H. The last step, we want to get W by itself. So just like in the other one, we're going to divide out this other factor. I divide both sides by 2L plus 2H, and that leaves me with W alone. W is equal to surface area minus 2 length times height over 2 length plus 2 height, and that's that. So I've solved this equation for W. I hope this has helped with these more complicated equations where we have to factor out first. Thank you.